Mr. Newsom, do you see that the U-2 incident will possibly prevent the summit conference? No, I don't believe it will. Probably won't have any real effect on the summit at all. Are we actually as embarrassed by all this as is being made out? Well, I gathered this morning from what Secretary Herter said that uh, far from embarrassed, we're going to uh, keep on doing it. Do you think this perhaps was a good thing in the long run? Well, I don't. I really don't think it makes much difference. It, what surprised me more than any, anything else was uh, the bitterness of Khrushchev's attack. Uh, certainly, uh, international spying is rather commonplace, and, and he knows it goes on. Well, if he was so bitter and surprisingly so, then what do you think he really thought he had to gain from this? Well, I think he was uh, possibly, oh, more than one reason, he, um, he possibly was setting up uh, the stage for failure uh, at the summit, uh, where he badly needs uh, a strategic victory of some kind. And so in case of failure, then he's got his, uh, his alibi ready made. What do you think about the U.S. handling of this thing since the start of it? Well, I think we muffed early when we <clears throat> said that this man probably suffered from lack of oxygen and may have just wandered over the uh, uh, over the border. It was obvious pretty fast that we'd been caught with our hand in a cookie jar, and, and uh, it was uh, right where we admitted it, there off we were. Now, some people have said that the president was unaware and that the top of the uh, military in Washington was unaware of the flight or flights of this nature. Do you think there's anything to that? Well, I believe that it's entirely possible that, that the people here didn't know of this specific flight, but I'm sure that they knew that there were such flights. Thank you, Mr. Newsom.